Hey there guys, RexBR and welcome to part 2 of the FIFA 16 Schalke career mode. Last time around we brought in two new players, we brought in Hesse from Real Madrid as our new left winger and we brought in Meunier from Club Brugge as our new right back. This episode I want to try to focus on finding a new left back replacement as well as finding some extra cover for these center midfield positions as we don't have the best backups for those positions now. You guys left me some very valuable feedback, first of all on Matip, whether he should stay or go, as well as some new players to bring in, but first of all, you guys wanted Matip to stay, so what we're going to do is offer him a new contract. He wants to go up to 100k a year, and we're going to offer him a 3 year deal now as a crucial first team player, and that should settle our centre back partnership for quite a while. Alright, we got some transfer news, first of all, Watford have accepted our counter offer of 12.5 million for Hoger, so he will likely leave to Watford and that gives us an extra 12.5 million to spend on a replacement midfielder for him. But more importantly, both Köln and Utrecht have accepted their offers, so let's go offer some contracts. First of all, Hector, wow, he wants 100k a week, that is a lot of money, but I think it'll be worth it. Let's go in, 3 years, crucial first team player. Next up, Ayoub, he wants to be on 40k a week, that's a lot more reasonable, and he'll be a squad rotation player for me, so let's see if he'll sign this. And Matip has accepted his new contract offer, so he will be staying at the club for another 3 years. Hoger has been sold to Watford, so we have an extra 10.5 million in our budget, and it looks like both contract offers have been accepted, so let's bring in Hector as our new left back, and Ayoub as our new center midfield backup. And doing some more training, Leroy Sané has gone up to 77 overall, so that's some nice growth. I also threw Hesse in training because I want both my wingers to reach 80 as soon as I can, because I really play a lot with my wingers, so I want them to be good. We got a transfer over now for Tilo Kerer. He doesn't really look like he's going to be all too good for me, so I'm just going to sell him on and bring in some extra cash. Now two more players that you guys told me about in the comments to try and get was uh, this guy Dragowski. Uh, he's a Polish goalkeeper, 17 years old, but already 71 overall. That might be a nice backup to bring in for the goalkeeper position. But also Ruben Neves, a center defensive midfielder, he looks very good overall. And I think I want to bring him in as the other center mid replacement. So let's see how much he'll cost. It's gonna cost us around 7 million, I think. I think that would be a good starting bid here. Uh, let's see what they'll say about that. We can always uh, offer more later. And for Dragowski, I'm just gonna offer my current backup keeper, Giefer, in a straight swap because I think Dragowski has a bit more potential and would be a bit of a better backup for that reason. Plus, his wages are incredibly low. Our offer for Ruben Neves has been accepted straight away, so maybe we could have gotten him for even cheaper, but I think 7 million for him will be a very fine uh, deal in the end. 4 years, squad rotation player, let's go. And Kerr has been sold, so he is gone from the team now, but it seems like Dragowski is also being chased by other teams, so not sure if we're going to be able to get him. I'm still going to wait to see what they say back though. Okay, so they don't want to go ahead because they can't afford Giefer's wages. Uh, so instead, let's just uh, not offer them a player, but just offer them straight up 4 million. I think that will be a good offer for him. And Navis has accepted this contract, so we're bringing him in as well. And now we have our cover for the center midfield done with. Our bid for Dragowski was accepted, so we can now bring him in. Oh, he apparently wants 25k, not just 1k. That's a shame, but I think he will still be worth that. Uh, I'm gonna offer him sporadic first team player and see if he'll, it goes for that. And he has accepted it, so there we go. We are now bringing Dragowski as well. And with that, I have a transfer budget of around 5 million left and 80,000 in wages. I think I'm gonna save that in case we wanna make any purchases in the January transfer window or of course to improve any contracts throughout the season because I think we've made some very good purchases but some players can still be sold of course uh, so we'll see what happens for the rest of the transfer window but I likely won't be buying anyone else. We get a transfer over here for Hodes it's quite high 21 million and we could even ask up to 30 million for him but he's a really big Schalke player I don't think I could sell him so I'm gonna reject all offers. 
Now it's time for the first match of the season and also of this episode. Uh, we're going to play with this team right here. Hector comes in for his debut and Dragowski comes in for his debut as well because our first choice goalkeeper Farman is of course still out injured from that injury he picked up in the preseason tournament. But for the rest, it's my entire first team. I think they should be strong enough to take down Werder Bremen. Oh, and they just spilled that straight into Goretzka's feet. Let's take a shot. Hmm, just wide. True ball now for Sané. Sané, let's cut back. Make the space for a shot. And it's 1-0. Leroy Sané in the 27th minute. Cuts inside nicely and just finesses that into the far corner. And that's a good way to start our league debut here. Nice curl there. And the keeper had no chance. Oh, Meyer. Yes, that's in. Putting a bit of pressure on their defense and they just make the mistake there. They were just casually pausing it around the back, but you shouldn't do that if it's a three versus three. And Meyer press as well, gets the ball, and he's going to score that any day. 2 0 already. Meyer now. Long distance shot. It's blocked by my own player, but headed in. Ah, uh, but that's offside for Hentelaar, unfortunately. That would have been quite a funny goal where Hentelaar himself blocked the shot, I think, and then he would have still scored it. But yeah, he was unfortunately just a tad offside. Hesse now going around the outside, but he's caught up. Pass it out to Hector, over to Geis. Geis in for Goretzka. Goretzka passes that to Hector, who is brought down there. No free kick, though. That should have been a free kick, but okay. I guess it's halftime, 2-0. I can definitely be very happy with that so far. Let's get into the second half and see if we can score some more goals. True ball from Geis up to Huntelaar, who finesses that. Straight from kickoff, we score the 3-0. But what a pass from Geis. This is lovely from Sané, but then... Guys, ah, oh, true the defense, and Huntelaar is in the right position to finish that. Beautiful. Werder Bremen now going down their right flank, but he can punch it away and possibly go on the counter now. Huntelaar doesn't really have the speed by himself, but that's okay. Goretzka here. Over to Hesse. Hesse, give that true for guys. That's nice. Now back inside. Yes, let's lay that back off. Let's lay that off. Oh, come on. Okay, I, I took too long. I should have taken a shot earlier. I'm going to make some substitutes now. I'm going to bring Ruben Neves on for his debut and also put in Moting and Belhanda uh, to get a bit more fresh legs up front to maybe get another goal. True ball for Moting. Is he offside? Yes, he was. Again, just a sliver of side. Werder Bremen with a header, but great save from Dragowski there. Ruben Neves now to Meneer, back in for Sané. Sané with another shot, but good save from the keeper at the near post. Now let's whip this ball in with Neves. No, it's saved. Falls for Hector. I'm just going to shoot from distance. And oh my god. God, what a strike to make the 4-0. And Hector, our left back, scores on his debut. But that is an absolute beauty. Dips perfectly into the far corner. And I want to see another replay of that. Ah, fantastic strike there. No chance for the keeper. That's just perfect placement, perfect power, perfect everything. And that's the match. 4-0 in our first Bundesliga match. I can be very happy with that result and with the way we played as well. They got quite a few shots off, but Drigowski was on good form in this match. So I think he will be a very capable backup for us throughout the season. And uh, I'm very happy with that opening match. We got a one-year loan offer here for Michael Gasperning. He's a for choice keeper I don't even know why we have him so he can just go for the season and his contract runs out the end at the end of the season so he'll be gone then but at least we can get his wages off for this season 
All right, we got a one-year loan offer here for Goker. He can go, maybe grow a bit, but probably he will be sold or just let go on a free at the end of the season because I don't think he'll be good enough for us. And we have an offer for Mati. Well, you guys voted and said he should stay at the club, so we're going to reject all offers and disallow future offers. We got a transfer offer for here for Giefer. Now, I, I'm fine with selling him because we did bring in... Uh, Dragowski, but I'm gonna ask for three million, just a little bit more. I think they should still pay that. And some good news: Farman is back from his injury, so very soon he will be taking over the first team spot again in goal. All right, next up is our match at home against Darmstadt. Still gonna go with the same first eleven as last time round because Farman isn't quite fit enough yet, but he will be soon, hopefully. But for now, let's go in with the same eleven as last time and get another win. True ball for Huntelaar. I think he's just offside though. Yeah, that's a shame. Darmstadt now on the attack. They cut through my defense, but weak shot easily caught by Dragowski. Now a ball out wide to Hesse. He has to cut inside. He does that nicely. Cuts out another player and takes a shot, but it's deflected into the hands of the keeper. Free kick now from about 34 yards. Guys, it has a Pretty good shot on him, so I'm just gonna try a shot. Oof, pretty close still. Just gotta practice a little bit more, but then I think with guys I'm gonna be able to score some free kicks. Ball over the top now for Hintler. This time he should be onside, but oh, the defense can get there just before he can get his shot off. Now Darmstadt cross it in, but saves off the line. True ball now for Meyer. Take a shot. And in the far corner, Meyer with a fantastic strike and puts us 1-0 up in the 38th minute. Darmstadt have been very good defensively so far, but this is just a lovely pass from Huntelaar. And what a strike from Meyer! That is a fantastic finish from that position. Oh, ball falls for Huntelaar. He can give that true for Meyer. Meyer with a second. No great save from the keeper. And that's the match. Just a 1-0 win, but overall I'm quite happy with that. Darmstadt defended quite well, and we had some good opportunities still that we just were barely offside. But overall I'm happy with the result. Two wins in our two first games is definitely a good start to the season. Hamburg have come back with an offer of 2.9 million for Giefer. I'm gonna just accept that. The 100k isn't really worth that much, so Giefer, you can move on. And he has been sold for 2.9 million. And that's gonna do it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more FIFA 16, then be sure to subscribe to my channel down below. And while you're down there, leave a thumbs up on this video. And I will see you all next time when we take on Wolfsburg.